Welcome back, everyone. 14 minutes after the top of the hour, four State Department officials have resigned now after an independent panel blasted management for its security failures at the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya. Frankly, the State Department had not given Benghazi the security, both physical and personnel resources, it needed. So with four Americans, including our Ambassador Chris Stevens, killed in that attack, are these four resignations enough, or does the White House need to make some serious changes? Florida Congressman Colonel Alan West joins me now for a discussion on this. Good morning to you, Colonel. Good morning. How are you doing, Gretchen? I'm doing just great. Uh, so what do you think needs to be done now? Uh, many people are waiting for Hillary Clinton to testify. Will that happen? Well, I think it has to happen. Uh, you know, I'm not a doctor, but it seems as though that the Secretary of State has come down with a case of Benghazi flu. I think we have to get to the bottom of this. There's still very uh, countless amount of unanswered questions. We need to know who really did alter the intelligence report. Why would anyone be out there promulgating the story about some video being the cause for this when we know that that was not the case based upon this report? And just because we see the resignations of these bureaucrats, and you know, I find it very interesting that some of those were the ones that testified before the Government Oversight Committee, yep. that does not mean that this, uh, this ends. But and I don't think that this should become the new normal, and the next thing you know, four years from now, we have Hillary Clinton running for president. When we had this death of the ambassador, there's two former Navy yep. SEALs and a foreign service officer. But the officer. two things that stood out to me in this report, number one, they seemed, the report seemed to blame Ambassador Chris Stevens for having gone to yeah. Benghazi, which uh, many people were uh, upset about, uh, but also yeah. that they said, you know, the next time around, let's make sure this doesn't happen again. Uh, well, that kind of was upsetting, I think, to people who really would like to know the answers of why this actually happened in the first place. Well, the first thing, when, when you talk about blaming Ambassador Stevens, does that mean that we have a State Department that allows its ambassadors to basically run uh, roughshod and do whatever they want in these respective countries? That lets me know that there's a problem with the chain of command mm -hmm. and also responsibility. If there is no oversight of our ambassadors, then again, we have greater problems at the, uh, at the top, and that means the Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. uh, let's move on to the next topic because we were just discussing this former Marine, John Hammer, who's been chained to a bed in a Mexican prison on these gun charges since August. Uh, what do you think should happen here? You're from the state of Florida. I know that uh, yes. many members of Congress in that state have been trying to get him help, but, but should the president get involved? I think the president absolutely has to get involved, and I put it in this perspective. If the president can get on Air Force One and go to Michigan and do a rally with uh, union members talking about right to work, then I think the commander in chief can take the time to get involved and get this Marine home. We live with a very simple maxim in the military we leave no man behind. And I think that the president of the United States of America should not depart Washington, D.C. to go on a Christmas vacation. If John Hammer is not uh, well, do, spending do you, Christmas do you with his believe, family, do you believe, Colonel? Do you believe when Jay Carney, the president's spokesperson, was asked the other day about this case, do you believe when he said he didn't know about it that he didn't actually know about it, or that he wanted to rethink how he was going to answer the question and get back to that reporter? Well, e either one is bad. Uh, if you don't know about it, that's uh, unconscionable. And if you're trying to play games with the life of this uh, Marine who is, you know, this is despicable, this picture of him being chained to a cot. Here is a war veteran, someone that was willing to give the last full measure of devotion to this country in Iraq and also Afghanistan. And we have an administration that has seemingly turned this back on him. So I think that everyone should be calling in the White House right now, today, mm -hmm. and say, get John Hammer back home to ASAP. All right. Uh, Colonel Alan West, uh, also a member of Congress from the state of Florida, thank, thank you so much for your time. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Gretchen.